I speak nothing unless you speak. So Father, I give you glory. I give you honor. And I give you praise. In Jesus' name. And the people of God said, Amen. We're giving God the glory, the honor, and the praise for this day. Amen. While listening to God, while worship and praise was going on, amen. I th thank God for praise and worship. We need to give God a great hand praise for the move of the Spirit. It's prevalent that the Spirit of God will flow to those that yield their vessels. Amen. So I'm thanking God for that today, man. Appreciating the praise team, amen. Thanking God for those that are tuned in through Facebook, now, network, network television, amen, YouTube, Facebook, all of those, praise God, media elements. We thank God and praise God for all of you that have tuned in or tuning in later to God be the glory. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. But today, man, as the Lord will allow, today is known as Women's Sunday, but praise God, every day is Women's Day. Because when you understand that a woman, praise God, know how to birth, how the word of God in their lives, because they were made, created to birth. Amen. And even in the Old Testament, it's a call for the moaning and the travailing women. And I believe that he honored them through their prayers, amen, and their petitions, that, and that they were granted because of their position, amen. So I'm excited about that today. I'm hallelujah, delighted and delighted and all of that, etc. Praise the name of the Lord. But we're going to go into the Word of God, not long, but yet strong, amen. And that's imperative and important today that we don't miss God, but take advantage of every opportunity that God presents to us. If we miss it, we may miss the blessing that He is about to pour upon us. Amen. So we're excited about that. I do honor the Lord. Amen. Again, I do honor Apostle. Amen. Emir Hirsch. Amen. I honor the man of God, the, the love of my life besides Jesus Christ. I honor the men and women of God that's in the sanctuary. Amen. Praise God. And those that have tuned in through Facebook, I'm on all of those elements, media elements. Amen. I truly thank God. But today the Lord dropped in my spirit while I was sitting in the sanctuary and he said the thought was two words two words today amen praise the name of the lord i know apostles been praying and teaching on putting on the whole armor of god amen that we're able to stand against the wiles of the devil but god brought some things together amen so that the people of god realize they don't have to stay where they are they can step out to be where he has ordained them to be in such a time as this amen Glory to God, and today is your day. Huh? You need to look at yourself and say, today is my day. Ooh, it's my day, glory to God, and I'm going to let God have his way. Amen. I'm going to let him have his way, and praise God, glory to God. We're going briefly to Daniel, amen. 11, praise the name of the Lord, glory to God, hallelujah. And this is the last part of this scripture, but I'm going to read it all, the whole scripture. Amen. Sometimes we need to know... But all of it is shame when you do it all the time. I'm I know I don't apologize. Amen. But amen. 11 and 32. And it says, And such as do wickedly. Mean unholy, unrighteous. Come on. Bless the Lord. All those different spirits. Amen. That will pause in your life, your spirit, and everyone that you come in contact with. But it says, And such as do wick wickedly against the covenant shall be shall he corrupt by flattery amen and then nobody gonna flatter but the people that do know their god shall be strong and do exploits amen praise the lord glory to god and the thought today is stepping out when you understand that god has ordained and orchestrated that you step out Step out of your misery, step out of your pain, step out of your trial, step out of your test. Come on, glory to God, step out of your lack. Come on, somebody. But somebody say, we're going to stay on track. Come on, but I'm going to step out of my lack. Amen. Stepping out today. And I, 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 I like the last part. I call it B because hallelujah. But the people that do know their God shall be strong in other words being strong means that praise god 
I'm locked in to the word through prayer and positioning myself through obedience. So therefore I become strong because I apply all of the elements that I need to be who I'm supposed to be. Amen. Glory to God. In God, not in myself. Glory to God, but in God. Hallelujah. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Amen. When you understand that you were called and chosen by God to be a praise God, particular people. Amen. With a purpose and praise God, a plan from God. Amen. So we got to understand today that God wants to do something great in your life. You're stepping out, and we don't go to the other scriptures, but you're stepping out of your demise, amen, by the things you do and the things you say. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, watch out, so you can step out. Watch out, so you can step out. That means you got to watch everything you do, everything you say. Open the airway, praise God. If you want the glory, the presence, and the power of God to come and bring you what God has ordained. Somebody say, I'm going to get all mine before I leave here. I'm going to get all mine before I leave here. Because my mind is made up. I'm stepping out of my contrary state of mind. Come on, somebody. Because it begins in the mind. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, in the mind. In the mind. It's all in the mind. That's what causes us to be hindered, amen, and the promises of God to be delayed. Because it's in our mind, then it falls into our heart. And before we know it, we're walking that thing out. Come on. But somebody say, I'm stepping out. I'm stepping out. Oh, you better understand that.